The community is wrapping their arms around the family of a baby from Standish who has spent nearly his entire first year of life in a hospital bed. Cody Simmons was born seven weeks premature with a heart defect. The infant has since undergone two open heart surgeries and is currently undergoing treatment at Boston Children's Hospital. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows us more in this report. Ben and Taryn Simmons, who married in 2017, spent years trying to get pregnant. After fertility treatments didn't work out, they took a break. We found out that we were pregnant, we had conceived naturally. That joyful news happened in August of 2022. Except for some minor bleeding, Taryn's pregnancy went smoothly until 29 weeks. After a condition restricting blood flow through the umbilical cord showed up on an ultrasound, their son Cody was born seven weeks early, weighing three pounds and six ounces. Very worried about him being so early. Shortly after he was born, Cody was diagnosed with a rare congenital heart defect. Total anomalous pulmonary venous return, or TAPR, that affects the pulmonary veins. At just six weeks old, Cody underwent open heart surgery at Children's Hospital in Boston to close the holes in his heart and repair the pulmonary veins. Complications were a massive concern because Cody was so young, but he pulled through the risky procedure like a champ. Extremely scary, uh, extremely scary, but um... You know, th there is hope that we would get through the surgery and uh, that he would recover. Family members started a GoFundMe page to support the Standish family financially and emotionally. The couple has to pay for housing in Boston so Taryn can be with Cody at Children's Hospital full time. Ben, who works for CMP, stays in Boston on the weekends and returns to Maine during the week. In July of last year, Cody went home for the first time, but he had to be taken to Maine Medical Center two days later after struggling with breathing problems. In October, Cody was then readmitted to Children's Hospital, where he was diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension, which causes high blood pressure in the arteries going to the lungs. He had to undergo a second open heart surgery to remove tissue. Cody also has catheterizations to widen his veins and increase blood flow. The constant kindness of strangers on social media, including people from as far away as Brazil, is lifting up Ben and Taryn on this agonizing journey. People that we don't even know are like supporting us and helping us and sending us well wishes and prayers. We talk with other families of, you know, parents of children that are here and like they're going through the same thing we're going through. On February 25th, Cody celebrated his first birthday, a milestone his family had hoped and prayed for. While doctors haven't said when Cody will be discharged and be able to come home to Maine, he is making progress. The baby has weaned off of some of his blood pressure medication as well as antibiotics to fight infection and Cody is eating more. The one-year-old with big bright eyes is also becoming more alert. Despite spending all but two days of his young life in a hospital intensive care unit, Cody's fighting spirit is giving everyone new hope for a full recovery one day. Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Boy, what a journey that little kid has been on. You just think by those pictures, though, maybe he's been toughing it out.